Good evening, practical humor folks. Okay, uh, it's been a while, but we're now carrying on our series on Fiore's Master Dagger. Uh, so what we're up to now is first master 12th play. Um, so if you look at our previous videos, you see the scenarios we're working from and the ideas we're working to. So it's about the aggressive attack and so on. So the 12th play, you look at the various plates. If Matt comes in, we just say, the plate sort of looks like this with an arm here. Okay, that's sort of what it looks like. Oh, different variations of this for this one. So. so, okay, why would we get there and what would, what, would, what, would we, what would we do? First thing to show is if I do a more traditional and try and bring this in, he's got too much, too much time, he can just take it away. Okay, again, it's not impos impossible but trying to make our life easier. So, there's loads of reasons why we're going back to our principles of disrupt the attacker to make the play work. So, first things first, why would we do, we do this? What we figured out is the attack is still aggressive, but he's probably no longer ste ste steaming in. Could be. <clears throat> the basic upshot is, for whatever reason, as we've done our first master dagger, there's been no tactile sensation here. I've hit nothing. For whatever reason. It could be, while we're using Mal, he's got long, long arms. So he's still coming in quite aggressive, but he's just very tall, very long, and quite short, and still stubby. I've hit nothing here. I don't need to see I've hit nothing. I'll know automatically so, because I've gone for it, it's not worked. So I just keep going and grab the arm. There's nothing big about it. I haven't got to change tech, 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 technique. It's just as it comes in, because I've hit nothing. But, if I stop here, we still have pro problems. I could just start getting, trying to get fancy, but, okay. We're back to the, the second counter of the first master dagger. But the point being, and we'll do this as fast as we can, so if you come in again, we'll just do that part, okay? Mm -hmm. Again, as always, don't take my word for it, try it for yourself. If I just do the technique on its own, again, It's too slow and he's fully compass and there's nothing I can't make it work pro pro properly there's probably a chance I can make it work but it's too small so how do we up our odds and lower his if we swap just because he's tall and I'm not <laughs> okay so how do we up our odds we've missed we go to this we've already discovered I can't stop here okay then how do I stop him from taking his hand that way and moving him? I'm going to move it out that way. But that's still not enough. If you look where he is, I've done nothing. This can still come round, he can still come here. There's still problems. So if he comes in, he hasn't even. You could even use another Fiore go to. Shove my elbow on. So, basic principles we've gone for is we get the technique to work and we know we have to disrupt the attack to make it to make it work. In this one, our face or body shove, body hit, hit hasn't actually worked. But I can still use the same principle, I need my body to, 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 to disrupt his. So as it comes, comes in, we'll break it down. There, missed, there, there. And you notice all I'm doing is I'm stepping through. I'm not doing anything fancy, I'm not body slamming or anything like that, I'm just keeping going. Now, what we found out, and again, I encourage you to actually try it, as I make contact, it doesn't need to be much contact, it completely throws the attacker off balance. It makes the technique work as shown, even things like the dis the disarm. Now, what I'm going to do is, as I Block the attack, we'll show the technique work, and then we'll show Angle actually trying to make it not actually work. So as it comes, comes in. Now, most of the time I'm going to let go of this because if we're being aggressive with it, if I keep holding that arm, which I'm meant to do, it can cause it can cause damage. The only reason why I showed it then is that do that on the floor here, sorry. As it goes down to the floor, it can easily dis disarm and I've still got con control. Okay? 
We've also found that if it's going quite aggressive, sometimes the disarm happens like face mask that just flies off. So, bang. And done. Now, I'm going to try and stop me doing it. That's fine. And I'm letting go because I don't want to damage, damage, damage the arm. Now, if I don't get the body slam on, so 12th play, you can do it as shown, but again, you've got to disrupt them. And how you disrupt them is everything is still the same. That's still the same. That's still the same. That's still, that's still the same. I'm going in that, that, in that direction. What we're showing the early ones is that I don't need to go so far in that direction because he's coming towards me. But I'm still stepping to the left and going foot forward. So it's just a continuation of everything that we've actually done. It's nothing new, it's nothing di di different. As you always say, please try it for yourself, give it a go, try and make it not, not, not actually work and play about with it. Thanks a lot. Even in practical humour folks, so the next in our series on Fiore's Master Dagger is First Master 13th Play, which is the counter to the 12th play, which we've just done. You can see the, the, the video. I'll put links links in. Um, so 12th play, just to recap quick, quickly, is, if you've seen all the various man, manuscripts and drawings, it's the block here and the arms here. Now, if you look at the, the other video, we'll take you through what you do with, 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 with that. What we found in most of the manuscripts. The counter to that is shown as either a hand on top or a hand on the dagger itself. Okay, now we showed you in the other video how you make this work. The reason why you get the chance to the counter, the most logical reason is because I've messed it up. I haven't fully got my attack, defense, whatever. I haven't taken them out. So if you look at 12th master, you'll see all the videos about how we do for you to do that. 13th, 13th is his counter, and I've allowed him, whatever I've done, I've allowed him to do the counter. Now, he grabs there, he can pull down, and there's no matter, try it yourself, no matter how much I try, I can't stop that. And it's taken me with it. Um, so, on the other counter is, we found, pulls there, and he pulls me down. It's quite simple. It's the same counter Fury comes up with for a lot of these, a lot of these plays because it works, it's, use, it's useful. And if I'm, so you've seen our play before, I'm going this way. But if I don't disrupt him, even if I do all that, I can't stop him. Again, it's a quick vid video. Try it for yourselves. If you don't agree, fantastic. Show me. See you in the next one.